Before I get into this video, I want to tell you guys about this really sick brand called Panic Brand. Now, if you saw my last video, I'm sure you noticed that I mentioned them, but I just wanted to go ahead and show that this shirt that they just sent me. So this is one of the shirts made from Panic Brand. If you watched my last video, you'll know that the artist who designed this is Louis Rossignol, who did the special edition artwork cover for the vinyl of Igor. Getting this shirt in hand, it's a lot better quality than I initially thought. You know, just buying shirts from Golf, you know that their shirts aren't always the best of quality. Like they're not terrible, but they're not like as good as they could be, you know? And I gotta say that this shirt does not have that problem. I mean, this is honestly one of the softest shirts that I own. And it's got a really sick design from an artist that I really fell in love with last May when the album came out. So Panic Brown will be linked below and you can use the discount code MAINTIC to get 10% off your order. It's content made by creators for creators, so just go check them out. I really support their agenda and everything they're trying to do. But without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and get straight into this video. Now, when I made my last video, there were a couple of people asking to see my shoe collection because the shelf was visible in the video that I made. I know that a lot of people are waiting to see the Golf Wing Collection video and I really wanna make that too. I'm just waiting on a few more things to get in. So I figured in the meantime, I'd go ahead and show off my shoe collection. Now, I like keeping my shoes on display. I like to kind of treat them as like art in my room and like let people see them whenever they come in to visit or whatnot and so my room has this gray paint and there's black hits all around such as the blinds and this bookshelf this is actually a bookshelf but i don't read books as much as i used to so i just repurposed it to fit all my shoes on there and i think it looks really nice now there is one shoe in this little collection that kind of looks like it doesn't fit in with the rest and it's honestly one of my favorites in my collection and it is actually this new balance 574 these new balance shoes are really amazing they're one of the best shoes i own quality wise and they go with a lot that's a big thing on me when it comes the sneakers there's actually two versions of this i bought the uh, classic version because i was really going through a phase where i was like into vintage stuff what a lot of people may not know about me is i used to be a huge sneakerhead. like i used to have jordans and yeezys and things like that before i made my push into streetwear i used to have like a lot of racks of shoes like i had three of these in my room and they were all filled with shoes some of them were stacked like too high it was kind of insane i've since slimmed down to just this bookshelf and whenever i decided to get out of my sneaker phase i figured i needed like one shoe that i could wear a lot and i'd settled on these now, when I bought these shoes, I didn't really expect myself to make a push into streetwear or anything. So I just bought them to be my everyday wear shoes, and they're honestly great for that. I don't wear them too much anymore, but on occasion, they still get a wear from me because they're just such amazing quality, and I keep them in my collection just for that. All right, coming in next, I just have this kind of basic pair of Vans. It's just these little maroon Vans right here. They're uh, kind of collecting dust. You can tell that I don't wear these often. But uh, a couple years ago, I was dating this girl, and she had these maroon Vans that she wore all the time, and I kind of liked them, and she wanted us to be like do and match or whatever so i bought me a pair of maroon vans there's not much else to say about these i haven't worn them since we broke up anyways these are still in my collection so i figured i'd talk about them all right coming in next we have my favorite silhouette of a shoe like ever all right so these shoes right here are the vans old school i don't really like all white shoes anymore but like a year and a half ago i was really into them and i've actually got i don't have my other pair in here anymore but i used to have two pairs of these something that's interesting about these shoes as you can see they're very beat where i live there is used to be a college around here and it recently shut down well not recently it was about a year like two years ago when it shut down but the whole building is like vacant now and me and my friends had nothing to do it was like 3 a.m so we went up to the college and we started like walking around and we got on the roof and stuff and these are the shoes i wore when we went to do that i haven't worn them or washed them since that happened one because when i wore them that was when i was kind of getting out of the all white sneakers and two just because whenever i look at these shoes they're in the exact condition of when we all did that and that was honestly one of the best nights I had in the summer. I just have these shoes as a reminder of that day. All right, coming in next, we have my True Beater sneakers. It's just a regular pair of Vans. These are just these gray pair of Vans. You can tell that they are very beat. I wear these shoes to do anything that I know I'm gonna get dirty. Like I wear these when I'm about to like mow my grass or something. They go with everything and you can get them pretty dirty and you can't really tell except for on the outsole, of course. Just some regular old Vans. All right, and now finally, we're getting into the shoes that I wear for more of the fashion purposes. And I have three pairs of Vans here that I wear kind of in all my fits. The rest of these are just kind of like miscellaneous shoes. Now I'm kind of getting into what I actually wear on the daily. And these shoes right here are another pair of Vans Old Schools in my favorite colorway of the Vans Old School. Whenever I first got these shoes, I wore them all the time. I don't wear them as much as I used to, but I still wear them on occasion. The Vans Old Schools are my favorite low top 
top sneaker silhouette ever. When it comes to like a higher top sneaker, I always opt for a Chuck Taylor over like the Vans old school high tops. When it comes to low tops, I would prefer these over a one star. But these shoes right here are iconic to me. When I think of Vans, I think of these shoes. I know a lot of people would maybe think about just the black colorway or the checkerboard Vans, but these are without a doubt my most worn Vans, except for my beaters when it comes to fits. These are my most worn Vans. And uh, I honestly love them. I'll never get rid of these. This is a great memory shoe for me. And this is one of the best shoes uh, in my opinion, like of all time. All right, coming in next, we have my last pair of old schools and it's a custom pair of old schools that I did. Whenever I buy clothes, I kind of have like an idea of what I want and then I go look for it and buy it. So I had the idea for this colorway of a shoe and I went on the Vans website and I couldn't find one. So I just ended up customizing one myself. There is something special about these shoes. I wear these shoes whenever I go to a music festival. These shoes are black and gray, just like my beaters. So they can be worn with anything. I don't know how it ended up happening. I think I just packed them in my bag once and wore them to the first vlog knot and they just become my go-to shoe for festivals ever since. But there is uh, a lot of memories in this shoe to me. Something in the water is coming up in April. I've got tickets to that. Um, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these there. But anyways, my last pair of old school Vans. It's another one of those shoes where you can wear them a lot and they don't really look like too dirty. And getting into my final pair of Vans, we have another very iconic Van shoe and it is the checkerboard shoes. Many people think this is the most iconic Van shoe of all time. A lot of my friends do and I could definitely see where they come from and it might be, but like I said to me, it's just the pair of old schools I showed. I don't wear these shoes anymore, really, because they're just not my style anymore. But once upon a time, these were my daily wears. I threw them on with everything. I wore them every day. But I could definitely see myself working back into where I would wear these shoes sometimes. And that's why I keep them in my collection. This is a very solid shoe. Out of all the shoes I showed, if you want a good daily wear that's going to get you fashionable, that you can wear with a lot of stuff, the checkerboard bands would probably be the best bet for you. Finally, we're getting into my Converse shoes. Now, Converse has quickly become my favorite shoe brand. I've just worn Vans for like so many years straight and it honestly just got repetitive to me and then one pair of shoes came out and I finally broke and got a pair of Converse and it's probably not the pair that many people would think. The shoe that got me into finally wearing Converse and Converse becoming my favorite shoe were these Vince Staples Chucks. Now these Chucks are just black with uh, orange hits all throughout the shoe and this is to accompany Vince's album The Big Fish Series. On the bottom here we have uh, a translucent sole where you can see the the big fish on the bottom of the shoe they're another one of those shoes you can wear with anything most anything the orange kind of throws off a couple of fits you can wear them with but for the most part you can wear them with anything this is a great shoe my entire converse collection has honestly just been a catalyst of this shoe especially with the chuck taylor becoming my favorite shoe and my favorite silhouette is all due to this shoe i love music specifically rap and hip-hop and whenever these shoes came out i was a really big fan of vince and i honestly loved the shoe i've also wanted to get into chucks for a while so I figured what better time to really step my foot into the whole Converse world and try them out. But yeah, these are the Vince Staples Chucks. I know Vince Staples did more Converse collabs, but none of them really sparked the same way as me as these shoes did. I think these were the best ones he's done so far. But since he's done these shoes, I know he can do a lot more. So I'm excited to see what he does with Converse in the future if he does anything. All right, and continuing with the Chuck Taylors, I want to go ahead and show, boys, believe it or not, the hardest shoe for me to get my hands on. What is my favorite Chuck Taylor right now and what was the hardest for me to get my hands on? The Chuck colorway of just some regular Chuck Taylors. Now, I usually don't wear regular Chuck Taylors because they don't have hardly any support. I usually opt for the Chuck 70 because it's more structured and it's a little more comfortable to me. No Chuck Taylors are really that comfortable, but the Chuck 70 just has a little more comfort than these. I kind of decided that I needed another solid pair of shoes a few months ago, and I was looking through my wardrobe to see what I could wear with most anything I own, and I settled on a dark brown pair of shoes. At the time, Chuck Taylors are my favorite silhouette, and they still are, so I decided to go ahead and pick these up. But like I said, they were very hard to get my hands on. I went on the Converse website, Nike website. I went everywhere and I could not for the life of me find these shoes, especially in the Chuck 70. I don't even think it exists in the Chuck 70. This colorway must be discontinued or something because I could only find a pair on eBay and I had to search through like 15 pages of eBay to find a pair that was in my size and not like a kid's size. So this was a very hard shoe for me to get my hands on. Like I said, not very expensive, but it was very hard for me to find uh, this specific shoe in my size. All right, coming in next, we have a very iconic shoe. And this shoe is another shoe that I've beat and is the regular, just this like off-white colorway of the Chuck 70. This is another one of those shoes you can wear with just about anything. And I absolutely love them. I need to pick up a new pair because like I said, they're beat. This shoe, as far as Converse goes, I've got the most wear for me and I really beat them. I wore them when I did literally anything. And since I beat them, I really needed to replace them and get another shoe in a similar colorway, but I didn't want to get the same exact shoe and I 
recently went to a Converse outlet in Pigeon Forge and found the perfect replacement for these. And I found the Golf LeFleur shoes in the off-white colorway of the Chuck 70, and I knew I had to pick them up. I got these shoes for only $60, and they are brand new. I love this off-white cream colorway. Cream has been a big thing that I've been getting into now. It's been showing up in a lot of my fits and a lot of pieces I've been finding myself being into recently. And to find these for only $60 was perfect to me. Like I said, I'm really looking to replace these with this shoe. I'm a big fan of brown and light blue, and there's brown and light blue hits on the sole, and there's just brown hits all over the shoe. There's light blue and brown on the Converse logo. It's just a better shoe than the regular Chuck 70 to me. But this is the shoe soon to replace the OG Chuck 70s in my collection, the Golf LaFleur Chuck 70s in the cream colorway. All right, and my final pair of Chuck 70s are the Clearwater Golf LaFleur Chuck 70s. Now, the technical name for these is the Clearwaters, but I just call them the Camp Flognaw Chucks because they came in the VIP package and that's where I got them. But when these shoes first came out, I wore them all the time, but I still find myself wearing these shoes pretty frequently, just not as much as I used to. Something kind of funny about these shoes is I actually thought there was that I had a misprint on my shoe because if I put this shoe down, the Golf LaFleur is printed on like backwards and it looks just weird whenever you look at it in person, which I thought was really cool. I was like, wow, I got a misprint shoe. Like it's probably very unique. But then I went to Camp Flognaw and literally everyone's shoe was like that, which was really odd. I'm not sure why they did that. That's just a funny little story about these shoes. But yeah, final pair of Chuck Taylors in my collection, the Golf LaFleur Clearwaters. All right, and getting into my low top Converse collection. Now these shoes right here aren't anything special. I just got these at a Nike clearance outlet and they are just these soulless. I'm not sure what that is, collab Converse One Stars. And this is the first pair of One Stars that I ever owned. I got these like right after the flower boy line of one stars drop when i went to the nike outlet these shoes look very similar they reminded me a lot of that purple colorway of one stars that tyler did with converse and they were only like 20 bucks so i went ahead and picked them up the one thing about this shoe is it fits huge i size down in all the converse that i own because i have to i wear a 10 in bands but i wear a nine in converse and these shoes still fit me like a whole size bigger like i could have sized down twice in these shoes and still fit them so i don't wear them too much just due to that reason but they're still a really nice shoe they're kind of hard to pair with outfits and stuff like that which is another reason i kind of hold off on wearing them they're a nice little shoe and they're really light and it's a pretty durable shoe so it's not a bad shoe to have it could become my beater here soon whenever these vans like finally reach their breaking point but yeah so let's collab converse one star all right, and getting into my favorite shoe in my entire collection as far as like memories and stuff go, and that is the light blue colorway of the Flower Boy Golf Wing One Stars. This is the first ever golf piece that I ever owned. All the golf clothes that I have, like me starting my YouTube channel, everything of that is directly related to these shoes. Since I had these shoes, I wanted a golf hoodie to match it, so I bought one, and then it became summer where I live, so I wanted a golf t-shirt, and it just kind of like ladder affected from there, me getting into golf. But I absolutely love this shoe. Something that many people may not know about me. Flower Boy is my absolute favorite Tyler album ever. I relate to that a lot in many ways and just having these shoes is a good reminder of that. You can tell these are very beat. I still wear them frequently. They are such a nice quality shoe and I absolutely love them. Something that really sold me on these was the Golf and Converse on the bottom. Something about that made me like really drawn to them. I just liked it a lot. Flower Boy, Converse One Stars, first golf piece I ever owned and I will never sell these. All right, and getting into the only Golf LaFleur Uno that I have, the only Uno that I own in my whole collection is the Industrial Pair. Now, if you watch some of my past videos, and I'm sure you know that I'm not a fan of the Golf Unos, I never really liked the colorway or the silhouette that much, and the only shoe that I ever really was drawn to was this one. I didn't even like the blue colorway that much. It was literally just a specific colorway. It's black and white, so you can wear them with anything, and there's something about the green contrast stitching that just really sold me on this shoe. It's just really so unique to me and I never really saw anything like it. I was in desperate need of a good low top shoe and I decided to go ahead and pick them up. But yeah, only pair of Golf LaFleur Unos that I have, the Industrials. For my final pair of shoes in my collection, I have the Golf LaFleur Giannos. These shoes right here are my absolute favorite shoe in my collection right now. I got these when I went out to Camp Flognaw. They dropped the shoes at the golf store in LA when I was out there. There's a really interesting story about me picking these shoes up that I would like to tell in another video. So just stay tuned for that while I go a little bit more in depth about that whole story. They go amazing with all my outfits. I have a good memory associated with them and they're just a really solid shoe overall. They're very comfortable. They're my favorite golf shoe like ever. I think this is golf's and Tyler's best shoe. If you wanna see me go more in depth about these shoes, I have a video on my channel. I'll link that in the bio 
down below. Final pair of shoes in my collection, my favorite pair that I own right now, the Golf LaFleur Giannos. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of really sick things planned for this channel. Also, stay tuned for my entire golfing collection. That'll be coming very soon. I hope you have a good rest of your day and stay tuned for a lot more content.